hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see a new design trend called new brutalic design so let's start with the video so now as you can see we have our demo app so we just have the app bar right now so now let's do we have we'll take a body okay so now the body so inside the body we'll have our center widget and for the child we will take okay so container so now the container will give it a height of let's say we'll use media query dot of context dot size dot height divided by three okay so let's just save the app so now you cannot see the container because we don't have any content so what we'll do we'll just give a child or decor okay so we'll just first give child okay so child will have a text in the center so for the center we'll have a text called let's say hey there okay so this is our text let's give it a style of text style and for the font size will give it a font size of 35 and the font weight of bold okay so let's just save the app okay so now we can see the text but our container is not visible so let's do one thing we'll have our decoration for the container so this is the main part of this design train so decoration will have our box decoration okay so what we can do is let's give it a border border dot all let's give it a color of colors dot black black okay so let's just save the app so now as you can see we have this a little bit of border for our container so now what we can do let's give it a margin age inserts will give it the margin from left and right okay so let's just save the app we have the margin for our container okay so now what we can do is we'll just simply increase the width of our border we'll give it the property of width uh, okay so now let's just save the app so as you can see we have a little bit of bolder border so now what we can do is for this design 10 we have this border and we are using box shadow so now we'll use box shadow okay so box shadow so it takes in a box shadow widget so we'll use box shadow okay and for the colors we'll give the same color that is of our border which is black okay so now as you can see we have this box shadow to see our container we have to give the background color which is the color property for in the decoration let's give it a color start white we just save the app okay so now we can see the border and the container so for now the shadow we have the property called offset we'll give the offset of let's say dx will be the 7 and dy will be the 7 too okay so let's just save the app okay so now as you can see the school effect for the container so this is the design train called neo brutalic stick okay so let's just save the app now what we can do is we can simply give a little bit of border radius and now for the border radius we'll give it a border radius only from top right and bottom left okay so we'll give it a border radius of 20 to the top right okay so now let's just save the app so as you can see we have this border radius for our container okay so this is how our container will look will 
later we'll give the background color of different color but for now we'll declare a bool variable which is is tapped equal to false so this will be used when our container is tapped for that cool animation effect so for that we'll have our container which is our animator container it takes in a widget called property called duration we'll give it a duration of let's give it a milliseconds 300 milliseconds okay so now what we can do is we'll wrap this widget with a widget called gesture detector gesture detector okay so now this has a property is called on tapped up and on tapped down so when it is tapped up we'll get the value but we'll use our boolean value and we'll use the set set and we'll set it to true okay so false and when it is tapped down we'll set it to true we'll give get the same value and now we'll use the set set and let's set it is tapped to false okay let's just save the app so now what we can do is we can use our boolean variable to change the property so before that we'll change our background color to brown and we'll change our text color to white colors dot white okay so now we have our text and a container so now we'll use our boolean variable so is tapped so if it is tapped if the value is true we'll show the box shadow else we will show the different box shadow okay so this is how we'll use the box shadow and when it is false we can use another box shadow which has the same color but the offset is different okay so the offset will be let's give it a one and one offset okay so let's just save the app and now the colors colors start black okay so let's give it a try now what we can do is we'll simply change the property okay so now as you can see our container so we'll tap our container so we have this cool pressed animation for our container with this ui so this is the ui new design train that we can implement in our app using flutter so hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video